Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here. Back with another Marvel 35 video. Guys, make sure to check the description below the video for the link to our giveaways. And don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content to show your support to the channel. So guys, uh, next video in this uh, series of the Uncanny X-Men update. We are covering the Beast uniform. Honestly, guys, don't buy it. Just don't. It's not worth it. The buffs you get from this uniform compared to uh, either original look or uh, the Dark Beast is so minimal. So minimal. You're not going to make this guy uh, your wall boss ultimate guy. You're not going to make this guy useful in Alien Conquest. Uh, his leadership is about the same as the Dark Beast with the slight buff on it. And, uh, well, for Shadowland, maybe you'll be able to clear up to about stage 15 Shadowland, but nothing much more than that. It's really disappointing that they had the opportunity to finally make Ank McCoy something much, much, much stronger, and they totally fail at it, guys. In my opinion, this is, uh, the last position in this update for uniform slash new character in, in term of power. Really disappointing, guys. We're going to go take a quick look at this uniform here. A uniform effect and, and uh, effect of skill, a scientific mind, which is actually the leadership. Uh, pretty much what you get on that leadership, guys. It's now that in addition to get 50% increase uh, of physical attack, you get critical damage increase by 10%. And that's it. That's very, very, very slight uh, buff here on that leadership. And if we look at the skills here, we got three skills that get revamped. The fifth skill, as you can see here, a deal 30% bleed damage for every one second. Remove elasticity, 5% decrease of all defense stack up to 10%. Apply to self, increase all attack by 55%, defense by 70, and all speed by 20%, and gain 30% uh, ignore defense for 15 seconds. You still need to capture ignore defense because you, even if you have max skill cooldowns, it's going to end up with 10, 10 seconds without, uh, without that max in your defense so you really need to still cap that in your defense sadly it's actually uh wait no five seconds without that in your defense sorry guys uh been up for about 36 hours because of the update so i'm losing my mind but anyway uh this fifth skill uh well for people who cannot cap their in your defense that's actually good but other than that it's uh pretty much just the uh, defense uh Decrease the all defense stack up to 10% that is, that's been added on this skill. Then you get the second skill. Second skill will uh, do the same thing. 5% decrease of all defense. Stack up to 10%. Deal bleed damage. It also had They also added a iframe portion on that skill. Which is actually pretty awesome. Then we have the first skill. Pretty basic skill here. Not much to say about this skill. I did not really use it in my wall boss ultimate run because it felt useless in my opinion so those are the skill changes guys from the uniform nothing major really nothing major and now we're gonna go take a quick look at my build before we jump into the gameplay section in the gameplay section guys we have proxima stage 30 we have story mode 13 1 and we have uh ink mccoy gang is ass kick in the pvp i wanted to show how bad it is because i faced him against uh, characters that are really not that great in pvp anymore so first we're going to check the stats here we have max cooldown we have 46 percent in your defense 38 percent in your dodge cap critical damage 38 percent critical rate 119 percent attack speed and 18,642 physical attack his small ability he got here are attack speed increased by 3% and the physical attack increased by 3%. Uh, now if we look at the obelisk here, we have critical damage, in or dodge, and 140% damage proc. So it's kind of, you know, not that bad. So the fact that he's struggling even with stage 30 
in the wall bus ultimate against Proxima makes him very weak considering the obelisk is wearing. Easel set, we have Akai's Easel set, uh, set bonus stage 6 in effect. The stat we get from that is all attack critical rate, critical damage 8.5%, dodge 8.1%, cooldown 8.1%, activation rate 12% chance when attacking, plus 20% increase of all attack for 20 seconds with a cooldown time of 60 seconds. If we look at the gear, gear is level 20, the guy is level 60, uh, there is no Yuru at all in there. So obviously if I put Yuru, uh, if I get him a better obelisk, if I level up his uniform, he could potentially uh, do a floor 40 in the wall boss ultimate, but that's nothing. People are clearing 70 plus nowadays, so floor 40 seems kind of weak for characters that just got a second uniform. And that's supposed to be much, much, much stronger than that, in my personal opinion. Anyway, that's my opinion on this guy. I think this is the worst we got in this update. Um, damage, damage is not there. Survivability is it's okay, uh, but that's pretty much it. He's not going to be a meta for anything. He's going to be useful still for his leadership in the World Boss Ultimate, and that sums it all. So, next guys, we're going to jump into the gameplay section. We're going to start with World Boss Ultimate, then PvP, then Story Mode. So again, guys, make sure to check the description below the video for the link to our giveaway. Don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content. Show your support to the channel. And on that, Star Agent Starco Gaming is out.